Right, so we're on our way to Delta Gorno now to go and find the Shafixti Captain Tanaka or Katana. Um, and hopefully we can resuscitate the Shafixti race. We're gonna start a new kind of big quest, it seems. Um, so here we are, we're coming up to the Gorno constellation and we're gonna be entering Delta Gorno now. See if there's anything there. And there we go, yes, there is a ship. It looks like a kind of triangular ship. Let's go and find out if it's... Hopefully he's not too tough, because uh, he did say that um, he might mistake us as the enemy. Uh, well, Green has said he might mistake us as the enemy, so we don't want to attack him. Attention, huge Aryan metal! Though most of my sensory instruments are malfunctioning, my map indicator shows the huge size of your vessel, revealing you are none other than a disgusting old Quan Slime Wad. Hi. I'm the glorious Shofisti warrior, Tanaka. You killed my father, my mother, my many brothers, all six of my sisters. In fact, my entire species. Prepare to die! Well, at least the kind of um, alarms didn't go off, so he must be friendly, I, I mean. But maybe? I don't know. Um, but we're going to speak on their own level. of the king, fresh Urquan. You die! Die! Well, obviously Greenish was right, he did mistake us as the enemy, so, um, yeah, he's only got one crew, so one hit and he's down, and we don't want to do that. Looks very battered, his ship, and the Shofix D ship has only, like, maybe six crew, maybe eight, and four battery cells, so that's not very good, and their weapon does one damage. Well, that's brilliant. If we ever do become allies with them, then I'm not going to be using any of their ships. But um, let's try and meet him again. Ah, so, the cowardly slug spawn has returned. You were most fortunate the last time, you hideous, toothless freak. But this time, I shall surely destroy your vessel. You slithering eater of putrid hairballs. Those are micey words from a dripping, snout-rotted little furball. I will hang your withered reproductive organs from my posterior monitor. Yay! Ooh, that was a pretty good comeback, but uh, still not going to be able to destroy me. He's a bit overzealous, this guy. So again, just going to try and escape from him. Captain Tanaka. And hopefully that's far enough away. It doesn't really matter, because he only does one damage per hit. And he's only got a tiny amount of battery. So we escape once again. Let's go and... Hopefully he soon recognizes us as someone else. You one more insult and it's Vapor City for you! Why, you wallowing, phlegm, filthy, grunty, belly ricker, you! Hey! Orquan never insulted me before! Who did you say you were? I am the nice, friendly ally who you've been trying to kill! You idiot! Moron rat head! Yay! What a fool I am! When you failed to launch fighter craft, I should have guessed! Just one of those mistakes you make in war. Suddenly, your words ring in my ears. Captain, is this true? Has the Urquan been destroyed? Has the ultimate sacrifice of my people resulted in freedom for the Alliance? Well, the Alliance kind of got its butt blasted. <laughs> I must die! No, no, he can't die. He's crucial in our quest. Don't die. You still have so much to live for. Right, what? My race is dead. My world is an Aerith rock. And I've seen all my sun rounds at least a hundred times. My life is over. I have already picked up a nice asteroid to smash into. So if you don't mind, I'll just go and kill myself. Unless you want to annihilate me yourself. No, do not kill yourself. You are to remain here and guard your solar system. Then we'll come back. Again? Against the Old One? Yes! But no. I cannot leave my homeworld unguarded. I will remain here and keep a solitary vigil. Goodbye. Well, at least we've kind of got him on our side now. So next time we visit him, we'll be with the Shafixti Maidens. So now we've got to go and find um, Alpha Cherenkov 1, 
Um, so where is Alpha Cherenkov then? It is just to the northeast, just outside of Orr's space, okay? That's cool. Um, I'm probably going to go into Quasi Space, try and see if there's a quicker way to get there, and also we'll discover where another Quasi Space portal leads to. So let's go! Into Quasi Space. So I'm going to find out where the portal is, and I found it now, so I'm going to go over to this one. Let's go! Alpha Trunk of One, Autopilot. So it kind of is exactly the same distance, a little bit shorter, but at least we've discovered one more quasi portal, so we don't have to kind of guess quite as much. So let's just head over to there. Hopefully the Vux, whatever he was, Commander Zex, is friendly. He did say he was friendly, a bit, a bit of a weird guy, but uh, hopefully we can get away from him safe. So we can either give him something, which will give us the sure fixed maidens, or we can just kill him. And I think we should go with the second option since, um, you know, we've got quite a powerful uh, ship. But who are these guys? They were very slow, but they're enemies, so let's see who they are. Well, we don't know them at least, yep. These are definitely new ships. Um, I guess we'll talk to them. Greetings from Vox, the last word in life form destruction. To gain an intimate knowledge of our engines of war, simply place both hands over your eyes and count to three. So these are the Vux then, the guys that are apparently really hostile towards humans. So why are they so hostile towards our species? Just, just what's the point, jeez. Ah, you are even uglier than I had thought possible. Can't you see you are making me sick? Please, foul creature, turn your head, or better yet, put a sack over it. Never mind, I have adjusted my display so it is dim enough to be tolerable. In answer to your question, our response is simple. We must attack you because our master is the Urquhorn wish it so. Now, if you don't mind, stop knocking your head like that. We Vux do not share this range of motion, and it appears as though your neck is broken and you are a jabbering corpse. Ugh. Is there another reason you hate us? I mean, surely that's not the only reason they hate the humans so much. Do we need another reason? Ah. I understand. You refer to the first human encounter, the insult. What more can be said? On that day, your species proved its true crass nature. You see, we Vox pride ourselves on our open-mindedness, our ability to see beyond even the most bizarre and disgusting face like yours. But that insult was so low, so totally reprehensible, that we will never forget it. Yes, to be honest, that event pretty much fixed our attitude setting at a bar. I suspect we will despise you forever. Okay, we'll apologize to you, and then we'll talk truce. Uh, probably not. You see, although we Vox are highly reasonable beings, who would never judge our race solely on its... Uh, appearance, the magnitude of your Captain Rand's insults was such that we will probably never forgive your species. Well, we might as well try. The people of Earth hereby apologize to the Vox. Nope. I didn't think that would be sufficient. It lacked conviction. Sorry, but I'm afraid we'll just have to kill you now. Well, obviously that didn't go too well, so uh, they're still just going to be hostile towards us. Hopefully Zex isn't, but let's just take... Uh... Let's just take, um, who should we take in to battle? Snellope, come on now. Let's go. Let's see, it's got quite a lot of battery, geez. And it's very slow, so, you know, the Spathy are having no trouble getting around it, but it's just been really annoying to hit. I just, since it's so slow I, and has so much battery, I wonder if its um, attack is very strong, actually. Um, let's have a look. It's getting close, see if it has any attacks. It's not attacked us yet. Oh, what are those things? Sending out little green dots at us. I wonder what they do. They probably do like they're probably like a bomb or something, I don't know. But we're doing tiny bits of damage to it, and this is gonna take forever for you, Spathy, so I'm just gonna get away, use the oars, get it over and done with. Get it done the easy way. Um Spathy are good for dealing with the Urquan Kora, but the oars are good for everything else, I guess. And it's also really quick as well, the oars can get away as well. So let's just send in tons of marines. Oh, that's their main weapon, a kind of laser thing. Might be quite powerful, but there we go, marines. 
just take them down. No crew lost. Easily done. There we are. So let's just go in again with our marines. Hopefully they don't get hit by that um, laser thing. One of them died, never mind. There we go, took them down again. Too easy with the oars. New boy. Just shows everyone how to deal with the bucks. Whoa, that was very close. Okay. That was a bad spot for me there. Come on, let's just take them down. There we go. Lost a few men there, but never mind. Just lost two. Not too bad. But that's a free 450 RUs. Which is good. Only lost two men. And there we are. There we have it. So let's just keep heading off to Alpha Cherenkov 1. So hopefully, as I said, Zex is nowhere near as um, hostile as those guys. Um, he likes humans, which is a little bit disturbing. Um, but, you know, as long as he's going to be friendly, that's fine. Again, though, judging by how awful the Vux are, um, their ships are so slow and easy to dodge. Might just be better to just attack him and kill him and then, you know, just take just take them by force, really. So I guess this is it here, with the green ring. Doesn't look like a water world, looks like quite a horrible world. It's all black and green and horrible. Let's go. Ah, human visitors. What a treat. I am Admiral Zex. Please, do not be frightened. Unlike the rest of my species, I enjoy humans. You may know me by my reputation, my leadership of Vox forces during the war with your alliance. I assure you that this behavior, a sad necessity of those times, belies a much kinder, gentler being. Please, be welcome. We can get to know one another, expand our interspecies relationship. But wait. How silly of me. You aren't here for polite repartee. You have come for my show fixing maidens. Let's get straight into it. We require the show fixing maidens. We are prepared to use force if necessary. <laughs> oh, Captain. That would be such an unfortunate mistake. A grave error on both our parts. We have so much to learn from each other. So much to give each other. It would be such a sad loss if we were to fall back to the mindless blasting and killing that has marred our two species' relationship up to this point. Admittedly, as the acknowledged Vux military genius, I would find it interesting to face your one powerful alien starship with my huge personal fleet of intruders, but oh! What a mistake it would be. Also, I think it only fair to warn you, Captain, that in my campaigns, I collected many interesting items. Amongst these treasures is a precursor artifact, a warp nullification field that prevents nearby ships from making emergency hyperspace maneuvers from running away. I note by the scars of the rear of your vessel that you have made many such escapes. So you see, Captain, if you attack me, you will face the greatest military tactician in Vox history, commanding an almost infinite number of enemy combat ships, and the battle will be to the death. Surely we can find an alternative. Hmm, don't know if I believe him about that. He seems like a quite a crazy guy if you ask me, so I'm just gonna attack him anyway, regardless of your well, apparent precursor artifact. Death. Yeah, to the death, that's right. You're gonna die, Zex. Let's just take an oars into battle, show them how it's done. Come on, new boy. Let's go. Take the marines into battle. There we go. He can't do anything about the marines. He's going down. Puzz. There we go. Nice. Good start. Good start. Now, Mr. Yuck. You're going down. I've got less crew and battery than him, but doesn't mean that I'm any less more powerful. I'm more powerful. I'm just going to take them all down. Apparently he has a near infinite number of ships, don't know if that's true or not. I'll fight him a little bit, see if it's true. Um, but right now, it doesn't seem like we're getting to Zex, so if I fear that it's going to take a while, then I might as well just have to uh, listen to him. Yeah, I'm starting to think this may not work, but uh, we'll just see. We'll try one more time, if he doesn't appear then, then we'll just have to leave. Come on, guys. There we go. Take him down with the howitzer. Massive cannon.
cannon. On the top there still does a huge amount of damage. Yeah, I don't think it's going to work. I think one more ship will destroy, get some IUs, and then we'll leave, since I'm starting to think now this might not work. And I'm losing crew. Come on now. Yeah, we'll just escape now and listen to him, I guess. Hopefully he's still going to give us a chance. He seems like that sort of person. There we go, got out of the way. And we'll just take the... Didn't he say that hyperwave... I swear I just used the hyperspace. Oh no, hyperspace. This is just uh, escape. Okay. It's just escaping. I don't think this is hyperspace travel. But there we go, we're out. Um, should we just re enter re-enter the planet? I guess so. We'll just try it. We'll see what happens. Captain. Right, so is he going to attack us? He didn't seem hostile there. Okay. So the third one we probably don't want to say, but... Right, so is he just perfectly fine? I think so. Didn't mean to actually click that. Um, I guess he's... He's, I think he's just going to give us another chance then, I guess. He is a bit... He's a bit off his head, but we'll just we'll just try again. Go back into the planet. And uh, get the um, Shafixti Maidens the difficult way, I guess. Gentlemen, we should be friends, not enemies. The scope of our relationship can grow as close as you wish. Well, I guess we're just going to start this whole thing over again. Um, what are you doing here, Admiral Zex? Why is he here? his own. Ah, such a good question. But you always were a bright species. I will explain. After the Great War, in which I played some small part, the Vox High Council, in recognition for my services, granted me this planet, so that I might pursue my hobby without disturbing the general Vox populace. I am a collector, you see. I have the finest menagerie of beauty creatures in all space. A menagerie? Isn't that like a zoo, pretty much? Animals? <laughs> oh no, Captain. Not mere animals. My menagerie contains only the most beautiful creatures in the galaxy. Each of my children, as I like to call them, has a wonderful set of traits which make them unique and special. Especially to me. I have a complete variety of beasts from as far away as Procyon and Vega. No, this is not just some zoo. I have worked diligently for many years to craft my menagerie, to gradually improve it. Perhaps you can't tell, but I am rather proud of it. Alas, there's one creature, one gorgeous animal which I do not yet possess. I would give almost Anything for that creature. Aha, so if we go and get him the creature, will he give us a show fixty maidens? Hmm. What an interesting proposal. I never would have thought of such a wonderful idea myself. You are a genius, Captain. In answer to your question, yes, I accept your offer. Deliver the creature to me, and I shall give you the show fixy maidens. I will even provide you with a clue to finding the creature's native planet. My source for this information is an ancient wildlife handbook written millennia ago by some unknown alien author. The pertinent passage goes as follows. Demise. It basks in yellow light within the constellation Lynch Na Plo. We have translated Lynch Na Plo to mean approximately the long, thin creature who has swallowed the huge beast. I am afraid this is all that I know. I hope it is sufficient. Alright, Lynch Na Plo, whatever that means. Um, let's just say goodbye now. With Lynch Na Plo in mind, that doesn't really seem to help goodbye, us at all. It doesn't sound I hope like anything familiar. I guess the Mel Normally will have something on it, so we're going to have to ask them. Hopefully one of their current event information is going to help us. But now, uh, let's get going and um, continue with our awesome adventures. And I think now that um, we've done a few things, I'm going to go for a little bit more mining, get some exotic minerals from some of the rare um, worlds, and we will then go on from there.